Today I'm going to show you two settings which you can enable on Microsoft Outlook so that you never miss any kind of email from your boss or someone else. So let's get started. So here I am in Outlook and now here I've got an email from my boss that says can you send the file I told you to send yesterday. Now as you can see that the, this email is right now being mixed up with all these other emails so that they're right here. So as you can see this email is right now blended in with all the other email so sometimes I might miss this email. So now how do you make the emails that are coming from my boss get highlighted so that all the other emails will be this will all be blended up and only this email that is from my boss will be, will get highlighted well first you'll have to open up the view tab and then click on view settings and then as soon as a window like this pops up you'll have to click on conditional formatting and then here another window will pop up now here you'll have to uh, you'll have to click on add and then you'll have to rename it to anything you want i'm going to rename it to boss and then I'm going to click on font and then you can set the font to anything you like. I'm going to set it to something, I'm going to set it to Sig, Sego UI and then bold black and the color to red and bigger. I'm going to set the size to bigger and then click on OK and then click on condition. And then as soon as the condition window is opened up, here you'll have to type in the email ID of that person whose emails you want to get highlighted. So in my case, this is sahimtechboss at outlook.com. So I want all the emails that are coming from this email ID to get highlighted. That is in this case, my boss. Actually, I don't have a boss. I just created this email ID just for making this video. So here, just type in the email ID. And then you can even set other stuff like, for example, if you want emails that have the that have the subject as urgent to be highlighted, or even more choices like the categories, like all the size, the, the sizes of the objects in the files in that email, the size of the files, and even other more cool stuff here or the other more choices. So I'm just gonna just keep it on. I'm just gonna set the email ID because I only want emails from this email ID to get highlighted, whether if it has a subject or if it has a file. Now here we'll have to set the time to received, and then this one to any time, and it'll check this box to any time, and then click on OK, and then OK once again, and then OK once again. Now here, as you can see that this email right here is right now being highlighted. So how cool is that? So now when I open up Outlook again, I'll never miss this email as it is highlighted. And whenever the person who's sending me this email ID, this email from this email ID sends an email again, that email will also get highlighted. Now the second setting I'm going to be showing you is enabling notification on your Outlook message. So let's say that you have um, Outlook minimized and you're doing some kind of work, you never um, and you're just doing some kind of work and your boss or someone else sends you an email how do you enable some kind of notification so that you never miss that email well just open up outlook and then click on file and then click on options and here you'll have to click on mail and then over here you'll have to find message arrival here you'll have to check this box that says play a sound and also show an envelope icon in the taskbar and also this one that's display a desktop alert you can even select this one as well but i recommend only selecting these three and then click on ok now whenever anyone sends an email to you you'll get a notification in the right side and yeah guys that's the end of this video if you find this video helpful make sure to give this video a like and share with your friends and if you have any queries you can fill out the sign tech query and suggestion form and please hit the subscribe button so that you can help me make more videos like this till then see you later thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one.